welcome and thank you for being here with me today. I'm really excited about this topic and this video today. If you're somebody who struggles with raw veganism, who is so interested in eating and living foods or raw plant foods diet, but has really had challenges in making it stick, this one is especially for you. If you're new to this channel, my name is Tumi. I'm a medical doctor, I'm a dancer, I'm a poet. I've been raw vegan for just under 10 years and I love making videos on this channel to support your best and most delicious life and well-being. If that is of interest to you, then consider subscribing down below. This topic comes from one of the members in my membership program called Your Delicious Life. Your Delicious Life, we call it the orchard because it feels like a delicious fruit orchard of people, incredible beings who are interested, in, like I said, in living their best and most delicious life. And every month I answer the questions of the members. Members submit their questions in and I do a Q&A video. I am going to be sharing one of the questions submitted by one of the members this month. And um, I think it's a very special place, the, the orchard, our orchard, our membership site for many reasons. Um, and one of them is the Q&A video. I also share healing dances, meditations. I bring them into my personal life and share personal vlogs. Um, and every month we are diving into a topic of juiciness to keep up leveling our health and our well-being, our peace and our happiness, our sense of service in the world by being our best selves. So I thought I would share a question from one of the members and she has been so lovely to say yes in sharing this with all of you. I will say that this topic I think is one that is so is so is such an important one because so many people struggle with this and that is how to make the raw vegan diet stick so i will post here the details of her question basically is how do I make this stick? She struggled with going on and off. She feels like it's, it's, it eats her confidence to not be able to do what she wants to do. Her intention is raw veganism. Why isn't it sticking? So today I want to share six strategies that I have found in my life that can really help to make raw vegan stick, if that is your intention. And I've been doing this for 10 years now, basically, and it's a beautiful journey. And it's one that feels easeful now, so easeful. It's second skin um, and it continues to up level my health. You can find videos on this channel for why I choose raw veganism and why I continue to be raw after so many years. One, make it important. Make being raw vegan important and what i mean by that is figure out your why figure out your particular reason for why you want to be raw vegan not anybody else's but yours um i do it for the animals i do it for the planet for mama earth i do it for myself it is kind in my eyes it is kind to other earthlings including the animals other people and the planet and it's kind to my body and my spirit to eat this way to be raw vegan create a mission statement create a mantra create an aff affirmation that speaks to your personal reason for why this is that important to you make it important sometimes it can actually help to talk about why the alternative is not doable for you what i mean by that is for me personally eating a cooked food and processed food diet eating animal products was just a no it was not going to work for me because for me personally eating cooked food and eating processed food and definitely eating animal products was making me sick, was making me feel like lead, 
was giving me pains physically, emotionally, and mentally. So I came up with a pain list. I came up with reasons why it was causing me pain in my life to eat anything other than a raw, living foods, vibrant, whole foods, plant foods diet. And that really helped me to stay the course. Make it important. That is going to be so helpful for making it stick. Number two, make it easeful. And by that, I mean, take away the blocks that make it hard to do this, this diet, to, to, to make it stick. Eat enough food. Make sure you have in your pantry the foods that are going to be vital for this diet. Fresh foods, fresh fruits, ripe fruits, enough of those fruits and vegetables. Clear out your pantry of anything other than those things so that it's clear to you what is there for you to eat. Not just clear your pantry, clear your feed. By that I mean your social media feed, what you're looking at and reading and watching. Um, if you want to be raw vegan, it might not be the best thing to sign up for lots of uh, things like Food Network or other blogs and vlogs that are going to show you lots of cooked foods and animal products and, you know, bless them, but that's not for you. So don't have that coming into your feed. Make it easeful to make it stick. Number three, this is so important. Make it gentle. Be gentle with yourself during this process. Speak kindly to yourself when and if you slip up. Be gentle and understand that this is a long process. This is not about a weekend fix or a month fix. This is about a lifetime or at least a season of your life of living this way. So be gentle with the process of it. I have in my book, Delicious Healing, a whole chapter on love. And if you're not familiar, Delicious Healing is my book of how I healed a lot of issues, including disordered eating, um, being overweight, eczema, asthma, severe depression, and heal that on many different levels using tools that I share with you in this book including love, including nutrition, including rest and movement. So in the book, Delicious Healing, I talk about the importance and power of self-love. Self-love includes speaking to yourself gently. And I have found this to be a powerful tool to making positive lasting changes, including making raw veganism uh, stick. If I spoke to myself angrily, if I talked down to myself each time in the beginning I slipped up, I wouldn't be where I was. So I really highly recommend making it gentle, making the process and the way you treat yourself a gentle, a gentle, a gentle path, a gentle practice. Check out my book, Delicious Healing, if you're not familiar with it. I have an audiobook version of it in which it is my voice speaking, and I find it to be a special version of the book, and it's one that I'm really proud of. So I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. Number four, make progress. And what I mean by that is as you are speaking to yourself gently, also make progress. So it's one thing if you slip up to say, okay, it's not the end of the world. I still love myself as I am, but you don't make any changes. It's going to be hard to move forward. But if you speak to yourself gently and then you look at what did I do that led me to go back, to fall off the wagon and tweak your strategy, that's how you make progress. That's how it worked for me. Every time I would slip up in the beginning, I would say, okay, what slipped me up? Maybe I didn't eat enough. Maybe I didn't have enough ripe fruit available. Maybe I didn't plan for a certain social situation. Maybe it was a mindset issue. I would look at what took me off my game and I would tweak my strategy. And that helped me to make progress. Progress, not perfection. Doing that consistently over time gets you to where you want to be. Number five, and I think this is a really important one, make it personal. And by that, I mean, release your idea of other people's judgment of you around this diet. That, thinking what other, what other people are thinking of me 
as I'm doing this can really trip us up. Release that. Forget what anybody else might be thinking of you and focus on your personal journey around this. Source from within your motivation. I will share with you that I believe most people are so caught up in their own stuff anyway, they're not really paying that much attention to your diet. And even if they are, their opinion of you doesn't matter. I believe really, really go within to shore yourself up to guide yourself in this path. I think this is so powerful. The more you focus on what you think people are thinking of you, the more it can cloud your judgment and cloud your progress. So make it personal, make it about you and release other people's judgments or your ideas about their judgments. And last, but definitely not least, this might be for me the center of all of it. Make it joyful. I, I look forward every day to my meals. I don't think about them. I'm living my life. I'm planting trees. I'm playing with my child. I'm doing, uh, I'm dancing. I'm writing. I'm seeing my clients and patients. I'm loving up on my husband. I'm loving up on myself. I'm living my life. And when it's mealtime, I am so there for it. I'm so present and so thankful for this living, delicious food from Mama Nature that is a blessing for myself. And that again, I believe is kind to the earth and to other beings. But I have to make it joyful. I have to make sure that um, I have delicious food around that I, I love to eat simply, to be honest. I'm eating mostly fruits and unadorned greens, but if I'm making it a, a, um, a recipe, I make it delicious and I make it nutritious and I make it pleasing to the eye and to all my senses. So make it joyful, make the lifestyle a joyful one. For me, it's not just about the food you're eating through your mouth. It's about getting the sun. It's about, it's about getting and receiving the love. That to me is all part of raw veganism. So make the lifestyle joyful in whatever way you can, and that will help it stick. So I hope one of these things is of support to you um, and that one of these things at least resonated with you. If you choose just one thing, implement it consistently. And I believe doing that will help you see progress and will help you, will help it stick, will help it stick. I send you so much love and support on this path. To all of you, I send love and support on this path. If you're interested in checking out the membership program, I'll leave a link to that below. Come join us if it speaks to you. There is an incredible community there. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share it with anyone who you think might benefit. Subscribe if you like. I send you so much love wherever in the world you might be. Take care.